I've been living in Toledo my whole life actually. Uh, I went to UT for undergrad and med school, so I had a really great chance to get to know all the different uh, attendings and the program uh, even before I was applying to residency, um, which you know really sold me on it even before um, applications went out or anything. We are a categorical program that provides comprehensive clinical training in both the basic science and clinical aspects of neurology, as well as uh, numerous opportunities in research. The Department of Neurology training program is one of the best in the country. I can say that without any hesitation. We are a group of educators who are dedicated to training the next generation of neurologists. That includes both students as well as obviously residents. One of the things that attracted me to the University of Toledo to begin with was the mission statement when I originally came as a resident. One of the things that were mentioned in the statement was to improve the human condition. And that resonated deeply with me because that's what prompted me to think of doing medicine as a career, improving the human condition specifically for groups of people who look like me. And so to be able to do that as a resident, receive subspecialty training, and then to still return to a center that is now merged with ProMedica with the intent to continue to pursue that mission and move us into the future, I think is exciting. But applicants often ask me what is the one special feature that uh, I think really stands out. Without hesitation, I would say that is our outstanding faculty and their dedication to teaching. We have many faculty that are nationally and internationally known, and our faculty are always available and have an open door policy. They're you know, very willing to uh, mentor you in whatever your interest is. I've never felt that you know, an, an attending or, or part of the faculty was pushing or pulling me in, in one direction or um, wanting me to do something that wasn't you know, a part of one of my interests. Um, and so they're very good at um, helping you figure out what, what your interests are and then supporting you in those goals, whether that's you know, what subspecialty you want to go into or whether that's um, doing research or doing more teaching um, and they kind of um, help you through all, all those things. I lead a wonderful group of neurologists who make my job a lot easier uh, by their high level of excellence in education, in research, and in clinical activity. And it's a pleasure to be part of uh, not only the department, but part of the institution that is excelling in every way. And so again, to be in a place that allowed for that degree of exposure with faculty who were internationally known made a huge amount of difference for me. We are proud to be part of a neuroscience institute which involves a collaboration between the basic science and the clinical departments of the University of Toledo. One, being at the, the Neuroscience Center here uh, is really great to have a, a centralized location for um, us with neurology, with pediatric neurology, and with uh, neurosurgery, uh, all being in one building um, to kind of have help from one another for, for um, certain cases, um, as well as having uh, the ability to have a lot of testing done right in the building here, um, and our therapy services all in one place. Um, it's helpful for the patients, um, and it's really helpful for us as, as residents where you can just walk across the hall to someone who has maybe a different subspecialty to ask uh, questions on you know, patient you might be seeing. You know, we start our training with the internal medicine team, uh, mostly as a first year, so you get to meet all the different residents in internal medicine who, you know, for the next three years after that, you'll be um, consulting each other back and forth. Um, and so we build really good relationships with, uh, with the other residents as well. I joined neurology in 1996 and have been part of the department since then and I have loved uh, both Toledo and uh, the department as well as the university. And there's always this perception that you know the highly densely populated urban areas are where you're going to see the most things or do the most or what have you but people are suffering everywhere and again the amount of clinical experience that I received here really surprised me and it was on par with what my
contemporaries saw in each of their other residencies. I'm biased because I've lived in Toledo my whole life, I think, um, but um, I, I've always felt like Toledo has plenty to do um, without having massive crowds or traffic or anything like that. So I've always loved you know, going to Mud Hens games or walleye games. We have a huge number of restaurants of all kinds of varieties. So even now I'm still finding new restaurants that I like, even though I've been here forever. Our metro park system is really awesome for anybody who likes to be outdoors or hiking, or, uh, biking, those kind of things. We've got like world-class art museum and our zoo as well. So I've always found plenty of stuff <laughs> to do and, and I don't know, I think I'll probably be here forever, honestly. <laughs> Toledo is a nice place to live. It's um, close to major cities, low cost of living, and on top of that, you'll get a world-class education. So I think it's an excellent choice.